Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will design the web app that I gave as a project in the previous video. So as you can see on the screen, this is the web app that I gave for the project. All right, so let's start coding. Let's bring up our code editor. So let's start with the top bar first. So to create a top bar, let's use a div. We would just give it a background color and some padding. It should look like this top bar. Then we would need some menu items and these menu items are next to each other. So we can use span for that. So let's say span. So the first one is index. Second one is food. Third one is about. Let's save it, right click, open with live server. And as you can see, we've got all our menu items here. So let's give the top bar a background color to make it look more like a top bar. And let's add some styles for these menu items as well. So let's give it an ID, say top bar. And let's give these things a class. So let's say menu item. Let's paste it here, here. Let's add a style element to the head. And because our top bar is an ID, so hash top bar. Let's give it a background color. So I've got the color code here, which is hash 779ECB. Let's give it a padding, say 24 pixels. Let's save it. And as you can see, it looks more like the top bar we're trying to design here. Also, let's remove the margin from our body tag. So margin, say zero. And the margin is gone. Let's add styling for the menu items. So because it's a class, so dot. So dot dot class name, which is menu item. Let's give it a font size, say 24 pixels. Let's add some padding around, say, eight pixels and let's give it a font weight say 600 let's save it and let's compare so as you can see it looks pretty much same also the body has a background color a light bluish color so let's add that so coming back here so in the body let's add the background color so hash, I've got the color code here, D F three F D. Let's save it and it's the same, light blue color. All right, so moving on to the next part, the favorite food list. So let's add that. Let's add the heading, say H3, top five favorite, foods. Let's create an unordered list. Let's give some list items here. And the list item would be a link. So let's add an anchor tag as well. For now, let's keep the hrefs forward slash. So the index page. So let's just copy this first. All right. So let's add the first one, which is biryani. The second one, we've got pizza for the third one we've got lasagna for the fourth one we've got burger and for the fifth one we've got Caesar salad let's save it so coming back here and as you can see our list is there just that it needs some stylings so let's add those as well so let's give this an ID. Let's say list heading. All right, let's add style for this. So coming up here again, and because it's an ID, so hash list heading. Let's give it a font size, say 20 pixels. Let's save it. Um, it looks pretty much same. Let's add some padding on the left. Say padding left, 24 pixels. Let's save it. And it's pretty much same, just that the spelling is 
bit different. So let's change that as well. So I've used OU here. Yeah, it looks pretty much same now. All right, so coming to the list items. Let's give this a class. Say food list item. Let's copy it, paste it here, 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 and here. All right, let's add the stylings. So because it's a class, food list item. Let's give it a font size, say 20 pixels. Okay, it looks pretty much same now. All right, so time to add these images now. So if you look here, so we've got an image and some text wrapped together. So what we can do is we can use a div and wrap an image and a paragraph tag together. So let's go with that. Okay, so coming back here, let's create the first div. Let's add an image tag. So SRC, then we've got, of course, alternate text. Let's add a paragraph for the label. Let's copy this. So how many are there? So we've got five. All right, so let's make five copies of this. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So the first one is biryani. I've got the images here, so let's take it from that. So here, and then let's add the alt text. So biryani. Similarly, the second one is pizza. Let's get the image URL. Let's paste it here. Let's give it an alternate text. Similarly, let's add it here. So alternate text, lasagna and the label lasagna. Similarly, let's add the bogo image, alternate text, bogo and the label as well, bogo. Similarly, for Caesar salad, let's add it here. Let's add the label as well. So Caesar salad. Let's save it. And as you can see, we've got our images, text, images, text. So let's give these things a styling. All right, so first let's add a class to the image so that we can give the similar stylings to the images. Let's say, food image, let's copy it, add it here, 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 and here. Let's add some styles. So because it's a class, so dot food image. Let's give it a width of say 400 pixels. Let's give it a height of say, 400 pixels. Let's save it. And now as you can see, all the images are of same size. Okay, so what we need is we need to bring everything to the center. So one really simple option is we can just give text align center to these divs. So for that, let's add class. So let's call it food wrapper. All right, so let's give the stylings. So food wrapper, let's say text line center. Let's save it. And as you can see, it's aligned in the center. And it looks pretty much same as these guys. Go 
cool. Now what we want is when someone clicks on biryani, instead of refreshing the page, it should scroll down to the biryani image. And when someone clicks on the pizza, it should scroll down to the pizza image and so on and so forth for all the other food items. So for that, if you remember in the ID video, we talked about link bookmarking. So we can use that concept here. So let's add those IDs in these images. So let's say ID, let's call it Biryani, simple as that. Similarly, let's add an ID here. Let's call it pizza. Let's add an ID here. Let's call it lasagna. Similarly, for burger. And for Caesar salad, let's just call it salad. So coming up here now. So this is where we will define the redirection. So instead of forward slash, now we can use the ID. So hash and biryani. Let's save it. Let's try the first one. So when you click, it scrolls down to the biryani image. Let's make the changes for other ones as well. So hash pizza, hash, lasagna, hash, burger, and hash, salad. Let's save it. Let's give it a try. So it comes down to biryani, it comes down to pizza, it comes down to lasagna, it comes down to burger, it comes down to Caesar salad. Um, that's all guys. We have the exact replica of what we created in this video. That's all for today guys. If you have any doubts or question or if you did not understand some concept, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.